What's going on guys, it's Alex at No Tech. How are you doing? We have the Google Pixel 1 here, and the reason I have this phone uh, with my SIM card in it right now is because we're gonna talk about Android Pie. I got Android Pie the first day it was pushed out, Android P, and uh, we're one week in with it. Yeah, it's been one week, so we're having a one week with Android Pie update video for this Google Pixel. So uh, you're seeing the screen that I have right now with my Google Pixel, and immediately off the bat, you can notice that there's a significant difference with the navigation buttons. So on-screen navigation buttons are a staple for Google phones, stock Android phones, and uh, you usually have the recent apps on the right side, and then the home button in the center and the back button on the left. Well, right now, all you see is this little bar here. It's not even a circle anymore. That is your home button. So if you click on it, you see an animation there. And then if you swipe up, that takes you to your recent apps. You can scroll in this nice little carousel, go all the way to the left side. There is a clear all button. But yeah, uh, this is the new recent apps. And when you are in an app, uh, for example, let's open Chrome. When you're actually in an app, you do see that back button pop up there so there is a back button that is still there and when you need it it will be there for you but no more recent apps button because if you want to reach your recent apps it's a gesture now you got to swipe up easily go to one of your recent apps one cool thing about this though check this out so uh you can still swipe up to clear it to get rid of it right i want just to grab a copy right i just wanted to highlight something and copy it so i can paste it into another application i can do it directly from this this overview i don't have to direct i don't have to jump into that specific app or pro or like chrome to access that this is a google search right here and i'm able to copy search or share directly from that pretty darn neat just like that you see i can copy this the serial number here and text it to somebody if someone's asking for that directly from this. That is an awesome new feature and I'm really into that. If you swipe up one more time from this particular menu here, it takes you to your apps, your app drawer. So um, it, it's a two-step process. I do realize it is a major change. And after so many years of stock Android being similar in one way or another, uh, this is a significant difference. I do, however, after using it for about a week. I like it. I like this change a lot. And so when you read articles initially, you feel freaked out because they say they said the Android navigation bar is removed and you're stuck with the gestures like iOS, like uh, like the iPhone 10. Well, it's kind of like that, but kind of not as well. You still have that traditional back button and the home button. You just lose the recent apps because you swipe up for it. And I actually think it's more simple this way. I do like it this way. So it's not that, it's not that drastic of a difference from traditional Android experiences with a navigation bar. It is still there. The heart of it is still there. The back button, the home button is still there. Just no recent apps. And I, I really like this feature of being able to copy and paste things and search things without going into that specific app. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, anyway, going back to the home menu. So on my home page, still basically the Pixel launcher that we've seen from the Pixel 2. You swipe to the other side, you get your Google Now cards. Uh, interestingly enough, this is not the most updated Google Now cards I've seen. I've seen one where at the very top, the search bar is there too. Um, I have that on my Mi A2 actually. The Mi A2 has that search bar there. And even, um, yeah, you know, the Mi A2, the Pixel 2, for some reason this one doesn't have that. So I'm not sure what they do there. Um, when you swipe down, you see we have a brand new style of drop down. We have rounded corners and the icons are, I want to say simpler. Not that they were very difficult to deal with before, but they're very more, they're very refined now. It's very simple, more, dare I say, Apple-esque, very simple light. Um, and then if you swipe down one more time, it'll take you to your full one. Very simple, same as what we're used to, just a little bit of a different design, material design two, three, whatever, whatever you want to call it. If you click on it, we'll take you to your menus. I mean, uh, your settings. Settings, once again, uh, it's just a little more cleaned up, rounded icons, very simple stuff. Um, what you will get internally in this update is 
supposedly better battery. It's called like adaptive battery right here. And uh, if you have that on, it'll limit some battery for apps that you don't use often. It's supposed to increase your battery life. But I do have to tell you, battery life has been really bad on the Pixel 2, uh, on the Pixel and the original Pixel, this one. And uh, it, it has not improved. The battery life here is basically the same as it's been for the last few months. I do pull this phone once out once in a while and put my SIM in there just to test it out. And uh, battery life has been really bad since Lita last used this. So she did a second opinion on it after my review of it two years ago. And she used it up until the Pixel 2. And battery life has deteriorated on this phone drastically. And I'm getting the same here. Uh, for example, right now it's 4 o'clock, right? Full work day from getting the office at 9.30, 10 o'clock. And, uh, you know, I use the phone for certain things. I, I do use my phone a lot for work, but at the same time, other phones that I've been testing, when I get off work at 7 o'clock, it's still at, I would say, 60-70% for most phones that I've been using in 2018. Right now, as you can see, I'm down to 44 at 4 o'clock. So not very promising. The last few days, the, my one week with this phone on Android Pie has not increased that. So I think that's plenty of time for the adaptive battery to kick in for it to learn my workflow and the app flow. So if whatever benefits that it's supposed to do, it should have done it already. And I have not seen increased battery on this particular pixel so it is also a two-year-old phone so the potentially the battery has degraded so uh, there's multiple factors but I have not seen increased battery life so another thing Google has added this year is something called app actions and I don't find this really useful to be honest and what it is is it's a predictive app recommendation I, I guess that's the only way to say it app recommendation in your app drawer so if you swipe up to your app drawer so the top row are, co are common apps that you frequently use, and then below it is your traditional app drawer. But in the middle, you, you see these two little icons there. One says mom and one says selling. That's what Google thinks I'm going to be doing relatively soon based off of actions I've done in the, in the recent past. And so I have been listing some of my devices on eBay the last few days. So since I used it so much, Google is predicting that I'm going to do it again relatively soon. Same thing with calling my mom. You should call your mom. <laughs> but yeah, I've called my mom um, yesterday afternoon around this time, and they're predicting that I'm going to do it again today. Well, this is where I find this a little wonky because I'm not. I, I'm running out of things to sell on eBay, and I will sell things on eBay, but. I'm not doing that consecutive days in a row. Same thing with calling my mom. Yes, I called her yesterday at f around 4 p.m. Doesn't mean I'm gonna call her today at 4 p.m. Or I called her like an hour ago, doesn't mean I'm gonna call her again. So just because they're frequent things that I've done in the past, doesn't mean I'm gonna be doing that right now or tomorrow at this time. And so uh, I don't really find this too beneficial. It just is what it is. But um, what, they advertise it to do is, for example, if you've been listening to a song, it's supposed to connect back right there. So if you click on there, it's going to take you back to your playlist that you were listening to earlier, and it's just going to start right away. So um, it's just basically what it reads from you. My my usage, I don't really listen to music on my phone anyway, so th that didn't really help me there. The, the phone calls, the texting stuff, I don't really need that there. Another feature that they added that I don't particularly think is beneficial for my usage is uh, when you search on the search bar here, um, for example, if you use Lyft or if you use something like Uber, right off the search bar, if you type in Lyft, it'll show you the nearest driver and uh, how long and how much it'll cost to go home and go to work. So you don't really have to jump into the app to search for it. You can just get it from the search bar. So that's really cool, but that's only for certain apps. Like I don't use Lyft, I don't use Uber where I am right now because in Southern California, everybody has to commute through a car or, or certain vehicles. So um, I don't need a Lyft unless I'm traveling. So most of the time during my daily usage of this phone, uh, this particular feature isn't really beneficial for me right now, but it is it is more convenient. I could see how it's more convenient uh, overall, 
what Google is trying to do is instead of jumping into apps and moving out of the experience, they're making this entire phone into the experience. On your homepage, eventually you won't need to open any apps. Everything you need to get done through your apps will be done on your homepage. And I think that's what we're evolving to right now. So those are the major things about this Android Pie update that I think will influence your major usage of the Google Pixel. There are other things out there like uh, app timers that restrict how long you use a, an app. I don't particularly think that's an important thing as well, but I could see how that might influence some parents and help them limit what apps kids use every single day. Uh, there's also like a wind down mode, which is basically like a heightened version of um, of do not disturb at nighttime that we've been using on Android for a long time. Um, so there's a lot of cool little features, but whatever I just talked about here, I think those are the major players for this particular update. And uh, I do like it a lot. I do like this aesthetic change, and I do think that this is a good way for Google to continue moving with their app development and also their design language. And uh, once again, I think that's the future. I think we're moving towards a future where you're not gonna have to open apps. You can access all your apps and whatever you need to do in an app, you're gonna be able to do in your home menu um, you know, on Android. It's gonna be one natural Android experience on that home menu without jumping into apps. I think that's coming sooner than you think. Once again, I'm Alex of Sentinel Tech. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Lita just got the Pixel 2 update. Uh, it's kind of funny because I got this on launch day um, or the Android P launch day and Lido had to wait an entire week before she got on her Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 is a newer phone. So uh, she got it. If you guys want to see her do a video a one week with Android, P uh, Android Pi on the Pixel 2, let us know in the comments below and she'll love to do a video on that too with the update. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!